Mama, why does the day have to end? Well, I suppose it's so that the other side of the world has some light on it, too. Mama? Yes? Why can't people live forever? <sighs> That's a good question. You know, I think there's an old story that would answer it. Did you ever hear of Grand Duke Volpes? Who? Well, when he was little, he was just known as Volpes the Fox. Now, Volpes was a very, very fast fox. In fact, he was the fastest fox of them all. And one day, when he was lying in the forest with his friend Fortuna Fox, a great black crow named Beatrice Beak landed next to him. Are you Volpes the fox? she asked. Uh, yes. Why do you ask? Oh, wonderful! I've flown a long, long way to tell you your fortune. My fortune? But how could anyone possibly know the future? Can you count to ten? Uh, yes. See? Knowing the future is just like that. Now, about your fortune. But, well... What about it? Did you know you will become famous one day? Famous? But I'm just a common fox. Oh, no. You're quite an uncommon fox. In fact, someday you'll be a royal fox. Nonsense. It's true. And do you know why you'll be famous? No idea whatsoever. Well, because someday you will find the Bridge of Dawn. The what of what? Do you not know what dawn is? Of course I know what dawn is. But what's the Bridge of Dawn? It is said that each life takes a little space on the world. And so, to make sure it doesn't run out of space, the world eventually reclaims our life. But the Bridge of Dawn makes it so the sun never sets on your space in the world. I don't get it. What's the point of that? So you can live forever, silly fox. Hearing that, Volpace jumped up with great alacrity and asked, Live forever? Uh, how can I do that? Ha! Ah. <laughs> It'd be easy for you. All you have to do is run and catch the sun before it sets. If you ask nicely, I'm sure it'll tell you where the Bridge of Dawn is. Is that all? Well... I must make haste. The sun is nearly set. Oh, but you must remember. The world has many timekeepers who wouldn't want you to outsmart their scheme. <laughs> no worries, dear crow. I am much too fast for any of them to catch. <laughs> well then, little fox, go and catch the sun before it sets. Run, Volpes, run! And Run Volpes did, just as fast as he could. When he reached the bottom of the forest, Volpes saw that it was night and that the sun had disappeared below the horizon. He was dismayed, for he had been sure he would catch the sun. And it was just then that a beautiful lavender-colored deer named Helen Hooves walked up and asked Volpes, What's wrong, Fox? Well, you see, I ran as fast as I could, but somehow I couldn't catch it. Catch what? The sun, of course. At this, Helen hooted with laughter, and Volpes, who was already red as an apple, blushed wildly. <laughs> and why on earth would you do such a thing? To find the Bridge of Dawn, ma'am? Oh, my dear fox, don't you know there's an easy way to find things? Oh, what's that? Well, 
old Tabitha Tusk knows the whereabouts of all things. She can tell you right where it is. Really? And where is Tabitha Tusk? At midnight on full moons, Tabitha comes to the crossroads just past the marshes. Maybe you can find her there next month. Next month? Tonight is a full moon. But it's just minutes till midnight. You'll never make it. Oh? Just watch me, ma'am. And, uh, uh, thank you. And like a bolt of lightning, Volpace darted through the marshes towards the crossroads. When Volpace reached the crossroads at the nick of time, he was astonished to see old Tabitha Tusk, a fabulously hair-suit woolly mammoth. In fact, so astonished was Volpace that he could do nothing but gape at the majestic mammoth until she spoke to him. Well, did you come to make a deal or not? A uh, deal? No, I, I just have questions. <laughs> then ask, Fox, for I know all things of this world. Do you know where the Bridge of Dawn is? What's that? What are you asking for? The Bridge of Dawn? I thought you said you knew all things. Say it one more time. What is it that you seek? Where is the Bridge of Dawn? Ah, so you do want to make a deal. Here are my terms. Reach the top of that hill before the rooster crows, and you will find the bridge you seek. Volpace chortled and grinned at Tabitha's proposal. Never had he been so confident, and he almost immediately started up the hill, saying, I'll be there in the blink of an eye. Don't you want to know what I get if you fail? No need, ma'am. <laughs> There's not a chance of it. And just like that, up the hill Volpace ran. Suddenly, Volpace heard someone behind him. He spun around like the wind and saw a radiant golden woman who smiled at him and asked, Can you see it across the horizon, Volpace? How did you know my name, Mistian? I am no Mistian, Volpace. I am Lady Aurora, and I know what you seek. Can you show me the Bridge of Dawn? Yes, but you must tell me why you seek it. Because I want to live without doubts or fears or uncertainties, for I know that one day my life will end, and thus I want to never run out of space under the light of the sun. Life is its cares and limitations. You see, Volpace, Life must run out of space, as there is only one way to live forever. What way is that? It is for life to renew the same space and thus reawaken itself forever. But how do I do that? You must cross the Bridge of Dawn, Volpace. Then... Lady Aurora extended her hand, and a great bridge of clouds spanned up into the heavens towards the mounting sunrise. Volpace looked back at Lady Aurora, but she was gone, and all that remained was the celestial path ahead. He stepped from the cliff onto one floating cloud, and was greatly comforted by its stability. But then, the cloud dispersed, breaking into droplets, and Volpace tumbled back to the edge of the cliff. Volpace knew now that if he was going to cross the Bridge of Dawn, he'd have to be as fast as light. And it just so happened he was. What happened when he crossed the Bridge of Dawn? He found himself right back where he started. I don't understand. Did he live forever? What do you think? I don't know, but it sounds like living forever wasn't what he thought it would be. What do you think? I think you're my forever. I love you. Good night. I love you too. Good night.